Tectonic Shift Shaping the Future with Innovation Greetings and welcome back to our Azure DevOps series. In the previous episode, I demonstrated the process of publishing artifacts to a pipeline. Moving forward, in this episode, I will guide you through the utilization of these published pipeline artifacts within across the various stages of pipeline. With the understanding in place, let's proceed to execute the pipeline and observe the artifacts that it generates and publishes. This is our pipeline. Now let's run it and wait for the publication of the artifacts. Currently, as you can see, this pipeline has only one stage, which builds and produces the artifacts. Let's just open it. The pipeline execution is now underway. As mentioned before, we are currently in the build stage of this pipeline. In this specific stage, the process is solely on building and publishing the pipeline artifacts. At this point, these published artifacts aren't being utilized by any other processes. Let's patiently await the conclusion of this pipeline and the subsequent publication of the artifacts. The execution of the pipeline is now completed. Let me just open the published artifacts and have a look at the files being published. I will just click on this artifacts produced and it will take me to the artifacts publication page. In the drop down of the artifact produced, there are two files present. One is the NUPEC file and the other one is the PowerShell file. I will use this PowerShell file in the next stage that I will create and will show you how to download the pipeline artifacts across different stages. Now let's add another stage in our YAML pipeline. Just select the more option and click on edit. It will take you to your YAML file. Now in our YAML pipeline, I'll add a stage. Just type stage and name it to test. Now add jobs under the stage colon. Now add a job here dash job colon just name it consume published artifacts now I need to add steps here there is a thorough documentation of pipeline artifacts available at this Microsoft's official website here you will find all the details related to publish and download pipeline artifacts. Just scroll down a little bit. You will find a download artifacts YAML script and also the YAML task. Here I will be using the YAML script. For that, I will just copy this lines and paste them in our YAML script. Just hit enter and paste it. Fix the indent. Update the name of the artifact. Now, what this task will do is it will download the artifacts from the previous stage to the current stage. One point to note here is that artifacts by default are downloaded at pipeline workspace according to the documentation. Once the artifacts are downloaded, I will run that PowerShell file that I showed you earlier. For that, let me just find a PowerShell task. And in the PowerShell task menu, I will add the script path here and select add. It will add the task in our YAML script. Uh, let me just fix the indentation so that this red line would get removed and now you can see the indentation has been fixed and the task is successfully added now i will save the changes click on save save and the changes has been saved now click on run 
and run the pipeline as you can see the pipeline run has been started and currently now we have two different stages one is for build and the other one is of test that we recently added now i will select this run and observe the execution of this pipeline as you can observe our pipeline consists of two distinct stages the initial build stage and the newly incorporated test stage in the build stage the focus is on building and generating the artifacts subsequently within the test stage we will make use of these artifacts in my particular case i will be executing the powershell script that was mentioned earlier with all components in place let's allow the execution to run its course until completion the pipeline run has been completed now let me just select this powershell task and have a look at its logs this was the script that was published by previous stage and being used in this stage this is how you can use the published pipeline artifacts across different stages of your pipeline thanks for watching this video for more informative content stay tuned and please like and subscribe to our channel